Hello and welcome back to Cud Buds. Cud Buds. Cud Buds. Cud Buds. Cud Buds. Is this where are we? Oh, the 18th unilateral Shemrod. Let's take yeah. a look. We are in a random place. Escaping a different random place. Yeah, that place sucked. It I just should not have auto explored. I don't know why no. I decided to. Ugh, skunk. No, it's just like it's it's just always with those guys. Ugh. It's just it's Well, just, they're just they love ruins in this world that I have have I, inhabited. You, you've probably encountered more of those guys on this run than I ever have in my entire career of playing this game. Well like it's not they're like, like they're, they're not, like my they're like my court of owls, man. Continuing the Batman thing. Court of owls. It's a thing. It's a it's a thing. Is it like the uh, what are the playing cards? What are they? What are those guys? It, no, that's the that's the. I know what you're talking about. There's but. like a faction of people, and all of them are based on on cards. Like That's more of a gang than a secret organization of oh. spooky guys. Okay, the Owl Accord is a, is a gang of uh, a spooky organization. The, the Court of Owls. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Yeah. They, they've got like these... You've, you've probably honestly seen the masks before and been like, oh, nice owl masks. Nice owl masks. Good job. Found some books. We did find some books. I'm hoping that we get to keep this canon because as much as rainbow wood isn't as bad as uh bethesda susa or some of the other dungeons even it may be as bad as golgotha it can be it can be kind of spicy it really depends like you gotta there's a couple things you really gotta know and i'm gonna i'm gonna you know let you in on those things because we would we don't want to repeat the Bethesda Sousa. There's no way to cheese, cheese Rainbow Wood, as far as I know. By the way. Yep, yeah, this is good. This makes sense. Nice. Nice little house with a light in it. Oh no, we are in a gelatinous wedge. Ow, ow, ow. We're all good. What are what secrets are you hiding in there? Let me in. Uh, it's not going to be worth it. There's a bed. What if it oh, is worth it? There's a lot of fires. They're hiding a house. Someone's little hidey hole. Who lives here? Where am I? Who am I? All right. Sumrod. I found the location of Sumrod. He's, Fun new ruin. He's just some kind that of That it's filled with those guys. Yeah, probably. Ouch. You you got impaled. Yeah. All right. Well, this is exciting. Well. I mean, I I I'm I I am pro explore the ruin. But this ru ruin was not pro exciting stuff. Well, I'm already here. You're already here. It's right below you. There it is. You did it. <laughs> uh, I am inspired. Do we want to try to make something? Um, why don't we do that before we head into the wood? Like on our on our jungle tile above it. Wow. Just casually dropping in a nip of congealed uber nostrum. All right, uh, I'd say we should still head to that tile on the north side. Oh, <clears throat> you're not going back to burn rear nip, are you? I could, I could do, I, but mm. I mean, you can. If we have flight, flight, it does buy us quite a lot of forgiveness. Again, if I just go slow and pick them up instead of just auto exploring, and then be like, oh, there's five of them here now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Or we can save it for later. Yeah. And it's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm pro that actually. 
I, 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 I hold about a, a 40% chance of death in the rainbow wood. Yeah, okay. you're going to want to give it a wide berth. Don't just click on it because your dude will just like beeline and then you'll get lost. So I'm, I'm going for there, right? Yeah, you're going for right there. And then you're not going to... Oh my God. <laughs> Amazing. Fantastic. A door. <gasps> Great oh. googly moogly. Uh, that door is a mimic, actually. Uh, the, yeah, the oh, never mind. It wasn't a mimic. It was an animated door. I'm I'm just wrong. But it's dead now. Mm. That chameleon killed the door. I'm I really sad about this, honestly. Table. Room. Might be another winner. Torch. Yeah, yeah. Mm, oh, more well, froggies. More froggies. And uh, those uh, slimes are actually kind of a problem. We don't want to fight those at melee. That is a brown sludge and a black ooze um, slime. And uh, they will get you sick if you walk through that stuff. They're dead. Yeah. That's good. Ah, green, green gel. The, the trifecta is complete. Usually they do climb, uh, hang out together. Where did he go? I don't, I don't know. There's another, yeah, you see it. Oh, there it is. Personally, this is giving me an icky feeling. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, good. We're not getting sick today, no sir. I mean, we have we have backup um, things in case it goes awry. I'd say don't auto explore because your your dude may just like walk through that stuff. I don't know if he's smart enough not to not to just walk right through it. Kind of hoping that was the last of them. Uh, okay, that's a convalescent slime. You don't have to kill him. Well, maybe you do, because I noticed it's aggro, aggro to you. But the good news is that the, they don't drop, like, horrible slime. Okay. This place sucks. <laughs> but not as bad as a beer nip. Why is the dragonfly aggro to you? That's not good. You can take that blue one at melee. That's fine. The, the the blue, the convalescence, we know what that is, and it's fine. You'll probably want to shoot the dragonfly. Taking it on melee will always prove to be frustrating. Cool. Okay. Well, um... Oh. Yeah, get get away from that thing. Do not... Do not melee. He doesn't agree. Yeah, no, he can only travel on the water, on the liquids, though. So, you, yeah, you're good now. All right. You're luminous, but you're not um, sick. You have no pending diseases. Somehow feel like the worst is not behind us. Ooh, a door. Is it animated? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if two frames is considered an animation. Do you think? Do you think if something has two two frames of animation, is it still considered animated? Yeah, I mean it moves. Not much going on here. All right. Fine. Precinct Navigator really does is finding us a lot of things to explore. Hello. We're, we're cool. You can pet it, maybe. No. Nothing. Honestly, I, I feel like that'll be something that, that'll be fixed in the future. It's exactly the kind of thing that the devs of uh, Caves of Cud prioritizes. If you're on good terms with cats, you should be able to pet them. I think we're mostly neutral at this point. I don't think we're, like, super cool. Yeah, I suppose that's true. 
All right. Well, let's leave, I guess. Yeah, let's leave. No. 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 One more down. You notice some strange runes. Oh my god. Okay, let's hope that our center tile is not Goat Folk Village. I'm going down. You're going down. And then we're going to go down one. And this is when we're going to make our meal. But we want to make sure we've got a kind of a safe... A little safety net first. Kill, kill some whatever gets in our way. We'll have to go down the south end. And I'm not seeing anything yet. I'm seeing a hermit. Worst thing is a leech so far. Okay. Yeah, we can make we can cook a meal here. Let's uh let's make this something beefy. Thinking something beefy. We still don't have our Hulk honey skulk. But let's make this a Hulk honey skulk and bone meal, maybe. We're gonna want that extra A V. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Hmm. Some interesting ones here. Plus two AV. Whenever you take damage, there's a twelve to fifteen percent chance you gain plus eight agility for fifty turns. That's really tempting. That's actually quite nice. Uh, you could also take plus 4 agility whenever you drop below 30% HP. You gain plus 6 AV for 50 turns. That's not bad like either. That's the second one is better than the one where I have to be real hurt. Yeah, I agree. This, uh, this that is Hulk honey with rich skulk, sauteed bone meal, and pastry. This gives you um, extra AV immediately. And you get a pretty good chance to gain plus eight agility. The pr only problem with this is you're not likely to take damage unless you're in immediate danger. But we'll we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Let's do it. I go down. You go down. Uh, uh, there's a deep pool of primordial soup. Yeah, go ahead. It's okay. All right. So, welcome to the Rainbow Wood. Um, you're already in danger. <laughs> um, you're going to want to basically book it as quickly as possible. Um, every tile that you dwell in for too long will is a... Uh, a pot of bubbling stew, basically, um, ready to boil over at any second. And you already have some some uh, fun things happening. Um, soupy. Yeah, there's some primordial. So you're in some primordial soup right now. Um, you're going to want to leave that. Uh, well, then why did we walk in it? Well, it's, I mean, it's not a big deal, honestly. The soup, the primordial soup, its main danger is not you walking through it. Um, it's it's interacting with other liquids. So we want to head directly south as quickly as we can. You may have noticed you have friends already. If you didn't, that's fine. Those things? Yes, those things. Should I shoot it? Um, you can, but they're kind of... Uh, they have. There's an unending supply of them, so... Like I say, dwelling is not as good as moving. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is probably not productive. Because you just dealt, like, 60 damage to it, and it's still fine. So let's just let's just book it. Are, are there bad colors here? Uh, they're all Tell bad. Me. But there's something worse about them. I'll explain as we move. Um, but like, should I be trying to avoid walking beside? Um, there's not, there's, there's liquid everywhere. So like it's, yeah, some colors are going to be worse than others for sure. If there's a lava one, then you are going to want to not be there, but that's cider on your right. Just so you know, so you're okay. 
Yep. This is this is good. In fact, you probably lost the ones that had already spawned. Um, so let me let me explain the main danger of this place. Uh, that's probably fresh water. Fresh water can actually be more dangerous in some ways. Um, fighting one is not a problem. Um, but I don't know if you had a chance to look at it or see what it was called. We have a chance to see what it's called right now. The waxy soupy waxen mono sludge swimming? Yeah. So take note of mono sludge. So right now it's a mono sludge because it's uh, it's basically some wax, which you can probably see is directly south of that thing, um, was interacting with the primordial goo. The primordial mm. goo interacting with any liquid will create a mono sludge. Um, where things get really dangerous in the rainbow wood is when a mono sludge interacts with another liquid and becomes a uh, double sludge or whatever you want to call it, a duo sludge. And then it interacts with another liquid and becomes a tri sludge and then a quad sludge and then a it just it gets progressively worse and worse um, as it becomes a more complex creature. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, I'd say walk through the fresh water to avoid that mushroom. We don't want to deal with that. This place is also very fungal, so uh, that's fun as well. We have um, auto collect liquids turned off, so we don't have to deal with that. We have some friends following us, but we should be able to outpace them. They're not very quick. So the main thing really is just don't dwell on one screen for too long. We can, if need be, destroy mushrooms um, by punching them. Um, but uh, it's probably easier just to walk around. A lot of waxy sludges so far. Don't worry about walking through the sludge. Um, it's only bad if you have another liquid on your you know, on you, which I guess we had some salt on there. We can accidentally spawn some salt sludges, but uh, we didn't, so it's fine. The only thing we got to be really careful of is not to trudge the primordial sludge through um, a different pool. And like the one of the reasons there's so much liquid in the rainbow wood is because because it is so fungal. Um, that's like the, you know, the weeps that spawn the liquid, uh, those, mm -hmm. those are actually, yeah, you, we want to get out of there. Aha. Okay. We're, we're well on our way here. Uh, walk one to your right. That actually might be a corpse. Yeah. Human remains. You might get some good stuff there. And we did get some good stuff. We want that eater's flesh. Um, yeah, so the weeps are actually I'm mushrooms. overburdened. Oh, no. How did that happen? Did we auto-collect some liquid? Oh, it's because we made a bunch mm. of grenades, maybe. Speaking of which, let's, uh, we should auto uh, equip our time dilation grenades. They're going to be very helpful. We also apparently picked up a weird artifact at some point. Yeah, let's have a quick look. A vibro dagger. That's quite nice. Um, we could just disassemble that for now. We don't, we don't care for that. No longer overburdened. Uh, you want to equip what? Time dilation? Yeah. It'll make, make running through here, uh, a little bit easier on ourselves. Basically, if you see a pile of them, just throw it at them and then we're going to, we're going to keep, continue moving. Oh, we already had them equipped? Uh, okay. Uh, mm. Um, okay, so go ahead and look in your food. Do you remember the thing that Barathrum told you? About eater's flesh? Yeah. Go ahead and uh, look Vaguely? at your look at your quest. Let's let's do it proper just so I don't completely spoil this whole thing. 
I do want to recover a time warm soul is the bane of cats. Um, <laughs> eat the god's flesh. There it is. And then... Follow the coral path. Yeah. So, that's okay. what we're doing. I'm going to eat those. Yep. We do have some slime on the right side, but don't worry about trying to kill it because it can't really... Get ready for some fun. Whoa! Am I following this road that's just come into existence? Yes. Um, let's time dilation grenade. Like, behind us. We don't want to do ahead of us, because we're going to be walking through that, so it won't serve us very well. But we'll start with behind us, and then we're going to just hopefully avoid that guy. Oh god. Yeah, this this is bad. Um let, Let's nice. look at our equipment Why? real quick. You can, but then we'll have to start over. Uh what did we lose? You lost your your ranged weapon. What was that? That uh, is my shooty guy, my, my, uh, sniper rifle. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. We don't want to lose it. I was just thinking, like, could we, could we just, like, cut our losses and run? Um, we might actually just want to sprint away for a moment and see if we can deal with this at range. Do like a, yeah. Um... Actually, hold on. Can you can you grab it from here? Like, do a look, and then get. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Perfect. And we didn't even lose sprint. All right. Let's just move it. Oh god damn it. Um. Yeah. We. we this is the like the worst case scenario. Um. We might want to do some freeze grenades or even like, um, let's look, look at our grenades for a moment. Uh, shoot. I was kind of hoping we had a, um, field. I forget what they're called. This is, yeah, I, I really, um, might even recommend flying out at this point even though we'll have to start over because you're you're very close to to like the worst situation you can be in um you could th try throwing down your hologram bracelet but oh right why why is that does the it case? not have anything yeah that's really there's bad. nothing in it that's weird okay yeah throw throw that um there's a biodynamic cell in there. We needed to have a good charge. Yeah. You might die, but not a big deal. We don't I guess we'll lose your ruins if you die. Okay. Now go one right. Okay, perfect. Oh that just saved your life. Yeah, let's continue. Should I um, eat a salve? Yeah, take a salve. That's a great idea. Yeah. And then let's just book it. There is a... Oh, oh God. Oh, okay. You have the itchy skin. Don't worry about that. What we really need to not be near is lava primordial sledges you don't have to follow it that closely you just have to see where it goes um but like honestly if you can it, sprint as soon as it's off cooldown <laughs> yeah i'm not even kidding um lava sludges are the worst don't worry about the mushrooms at this point since you are already itchy skin oh my god Okay, we're gonna go southeast. Don't follow the road. We don't want to be near that. 
I'm but I want to... lava for my cells. Yeah, I mean, under normal situations, for sure. Okay, it goes south. Thank God. Leave this. I think I can make it. I think I could just run up there and get some. If you died because of that, I'd be a little salty. Okay, I'll take two steps up. If I see those slimes appear, I'll run away. You you realize if you touch lava, it can just incinerate all of your equipment. But and I'm they, I don't want to touch it. I want to go one I away know, from it, right? I know, but they can they can throw it at you. Mm. They can throw lava at you. Okay. We've made it. I see it. I see the very corner of Pax Clank's uh, shack. Hey, uh, what do you call a, a room with no doors? I don't know. What do you call a room with no doors? A mushroom. It's got no doors. You're going to have to break in. Hmm. go Ooh. Per perfect excellent chat chat with them thank perfect you excuse me let's look at them hated by antelopes i'm gonna make friends with him okay go for it Nice. We were actually not on great terms with Fungi. Apparently, if you're on better terms with Fungi, you can have him infect you with Mumblemouth. Mmm, and you like Mumblemouth. Mumblemouth is one of the better uh, fungal infections, yeah. Some would even argue, like, the best one. But uh, Well, that's all I'm getting from him. Yeah. Alright. So let's, uh, let's see what he has to say. Clank Perfect you. Why are you the color of a coral and why did the brick road outside only appear after I ate the eater's flesh cat? Sure. Clank want no visitors, so Clank relocate workshop half dimension away. Taste these alter viewing plane. Dope. Prickles, Clank Miss Prickles. I don't like Pax Clank. <laughs> Why do you owe Prickles a debt? Clank puff on Prickles during lecture on light refraction. Prickles angry. Well, you can repay the debt now. Barathum wants you to build something. A climber, he says only you can do it. Clank care little for debt. Oh, well. <laughs> you can do to change your mind. Clank think. Clank puff on you. Excuse me? Then your clank shrivels away. Clank puff on you, then clank build jalopy. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna infect an arm. Probably. Not sure which one the hologram bracelet is on, but uh the arm is usually the best place. Okay. So the good news is we don't have to come back here, I don't think. We can, we How do can, I cure my itchy skin? Um, we're gonna... As, as long as we're not in immediate danger, why don't you uh, cook a meal? Um, I probably can't hear. Bubbles everywhere? Um, you can just, like, step outside and make a campfire. You can, I, I suppose, right there. And then cook from a recipe. And we're gonna do our... Um, Whenever you drink water, there's a 25% chance we lose a negative effect. Where is it? Where is it? We've made a lot of meals. Dang, yeah we have. Ah, uh, there it is. No, that's not it. We're gonna set it as favorite. We might have already done that. No, because it would have appeared no? at the top. But there it is. You just passed it. Oh. 
Oh, apple couscous with donut, of course. Add that, add that to your favorites. There we go. All right, now start drinking. Great. Um, sorry, I wanted somewhere good to puke. Oh, I see. <laughs> Apparently, um, I was someone in my comments on Monday was telling me that about mushroom-based recipes. Uh, mm -hmm. pickled mushrooms offer the effect whenever you eat a mushroom. Um, and the benefit of it over the vine wafer sheaf one is that it is a 100% chance of effect. Like, it'll just do it. So, it might be in the future if we want, um, like a better way of doing things, we could just, like, if we have enough pickled mushrooms, we could try cooking the same meal with mushrooms and then we don't have to do this gambit oh it's gone there you go all right and you have to vomit wow so now uh the only problem is that we are still in the rainbow wood i'm pretty sure if you fly out you'll end up somewhere random so we still have to leave kind of in the same way we came do you want to test that or you can try the only problem is that if you end up flying out and then get lost, we'll, we, we, we won't know how close to the edge we are. But yeah, go for it. Let's, let's try. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh. All right. So you're lost. We're lost. Oh, I was still flying. Oh, why, why do weeps have to spawn exactly in the primordial ooze? That's like, that is the worst. I assume to add some danger. Yeah. Good thing is that leaving a tile provide, oh, there's already liquid above you. We probably want to head east a little bit. Now can I fly? Uh, I don't think so. Because you're still in the rainbow wood. Yeah, honestly, like, just pick a direction oh. and then... Uh, I'd like to think we're out of the rainbow wood, but we probably aren't. There's lava if you want to collect it. Yep. Oh, that that's a greater voider spider. You're in danger. Um, you can try taking it. It, it, it might hurt. But you're you're in this now. You have to try. <laughs> your your fallback is always you can fly out. Oh, my gun's not equipped. That's true. But the fact that we still have our gun is something I'm very grateful for. Yeah, you, you're just gonna have to fight him. You you you're spending a lot of time. Yeah. Uh, which would bark or salve? You can probably fight him. It's just, it's gonna suck. You can conk him, yeah. Where, what? What happened there? He's leaping all over the place. What is this orange? That's Clank. That is Clank Puff Spores. Did I do that on purpose? You, uh, whenever... It, it kind of works like one of the fungal infections. Basically, whenever you take damage, you have a chance of just, like, poofing some spores. You're not going to be able to charge them. Yeah. You can just walk up to them and start smacking them. The good news is that you're safe from whatever slimes are outside. All right. That was 675 XP, so kind of worth it. Um, or just, you're just gonna have to break yeah. out. Should I do the water thing to get rid of this itchy skin while I still have it? Yeah. And I'm safe currently. Yeah, that's a great idea, actually. Drinking water. Drinking water. Need a better way to do this. Let me out. Yeah, unfortunately, it's chrome, so it's going to take a few more whacks than the normal wall. 
Would the pickaxe make this faster, or is my yeah, fist no, it, it would. More? No. I wasn't gonna Gosh. say anything only because oh, you actually have not <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, Ugh. oh, that's bad. Uh, time dilation grenade. Whereabouts up there? Yeah, just up there. And then hit like northwest, like the way you came in, I guess. Oh my god, this is a bad zone. Oh. Yeah. Try and grab your sniper rifle before moving. It's it's there in that sludge. You just gotta do the page up, page down, or like... Yeah, there you go. Here it is. Perfect. Oh, I think you also dropped your nano pneumatic jackhammer. It's to your right, maybe? Like to your immediate right? That being said, if it it comes to it, uh leaving that behind would be fine, I guess. Okay, uh we're in danger. Ooh. Oh, and this is a dead end. Time to fly? Take our chances somewhere else? Oh, right. We don't have it equipped. <laughs> okay. Good good thinking. Uh, it's probably an armor. Those wings have really come in handy. Wow, we're in exactly the same spot. That's actually great. Because we can just continue moving away. Still going for that lava, huh? I, I uh, respect the hustle. Just hit collect because it'll only collect it in uh, containers that can hold it. There you go. Now we leave. How would you like to leave? Let's go north. There's a, a nice straight shot north from where you are. Oh, goody, a Pewtis Templar. Me. That's amazing. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to escape. You got uh, anything? A silver nugget. Yeah. Oh, a holy rhombus. Okay. Okay. We're we're actually. Oh, don't don't go one east and then north. Go like two east and then north. About three. Yeah, that works. We're making progress here. A little here. road. There's been, uh, there's been some close calls. Yeah. I... Yeah, you what? I wouldn't recommend following that. It's, it's just, it's just flavor. It's not going to lead us anywhere useful. Oh. I'm actually very happy with uh, how we've managed to deal with certain situations. I'm thinking uh, you might want to equip freeze grenades instead of time dilation. Because, like, they're not actually being very helpful. They, se they don't seem to provide the uh, extra quickness difference. Yeah, that's, that's correct. That's correct. Thank you. Uh, well, it's because, like, it's easy to for me to read it as being like, oh, put it in your primary, of course. Okay. We're going up? We're going up. Ooh, a, a wine weep. We like wine. Let me go get some wine. Sure. Fill a, fill a water skin up with that. Oh, you are over encumbered. Never mind. Mm. You're like exactly encumbered. I don't think there's anything we can drop to even things out. At least not easily, right? I'm just going to go through this. Yep. 
No, that was a good tile. Wires. Is that... Can you look at that? I'm in the outskirts of Bibiani. Yeah, it's just another ruin inside the rainbow wood. What are these wires about? I don't know. Nothing. Someone tried to make a workshop in the rainbow wood, the mad lads. What are those white weepies? I will go back. The the blue mushroom on your right. I want like let's just look at it for a moment. This thing? Yeah. Azure puff. Huh. Perfect. That doesn't, um, that's weird. I have not seen like white mushrooms like that or white drippy. Okay, let's, I guess it's blue. It's just not as blue as the uh, mushroom itself. Mm. Yeah, yeah, let's leave that. Maybe, uh, maybe could intelligently does, um, colors the drippiness a little bit different if it happens to spawn on a blue mushroom because there is blue drippy what's that thing probably a light arc sconce hmm. i thought there was a unique soundtrack for rainbow wood but i'm just hearing the normal default one we're still on the outskirts of bibiana ah we made it tari hills you could you should be safe to leave now. We did it. You did it. Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. I did it again. Huh? I did it again. I cannot I cannot believe. I could have just recoiled. Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, I can't believe This is more exciting. Yeah, I suppose it is. What a goddamn goober I am sometimes. What a goddamn goober. Alright, let's um let's recoil now, I guess. Where are we going? Great gate. Mmm. Oh well I guess we don't want to go to Great Gate yet because we we need to puff on a bunch of stuff, which we'll do in the next episode. Tune in next time for puffin' stuff. Yeah. If you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. -bye.